Hello everybody and welcome to another Game Creator 2 tutorial. Today we're going to roll this ball into this box and have the ball turn red on collision. And we are going to do all of this without touching the ball at all. All the scripts are going to be on the box. This will be done through the magic of the target property. So we've got this ball set up here. It's got a rigid body on it so that it will roll with physics. And I've added a sphere collider, a trigger, with the radius 0.6, so slightly bigger than its physical collider. And I've also given it a tag called ball. I've also got this box here with, again, a trigger collider, slightly bigger than its physical collider. You can see there's a little gap around there. Now, as I said, we are going to do this all without touching the ball. So let's get on with it. We need to add a trigger to our box. And this trigger is going to be an enter trigger. And we're going to choose on enter, on trigger enter tag. The tag that we want to collide with is ball. Then we want to set up our renderer, which is going to change the color of the ball. We're going to choose change material color here. We're going to set that to red. And here in the renderer, we get some choices. You can do all sorts of things, but we just want to look at these two here. If I choose self, the box will change color. If I choose target, the thing that caused the actions to happen is going to change color. And in this case, that is the ball. So if I press play now, you'll see that this is as simple as what I have just done. Ball rolls down the hill, hits the box, turns red. And as I said at the start, we haven't touched the ball. Just so you can see, there's no editing tricks. We're still in play mode. I'm going to click on the ball. The ball hasn't done anything except become red. This opens up a lot of opportunities for us to do a whole lot without doing much code, and I love it. That's all for this tutorial today. It's been super simple. Let me know in the comments if you want me to put more detail into these tutorials. I like to make things quick, fast, and to the point. But if you guys want more details or want me to give more examples, I'm happy to do so. I will see you next time.